we are going to use ChatGPT to fasten our research thesis. ChatGPT is like that bright student in class who can help you do your homework in one hour, and you're spending a whole weekend buried in books. It is important to note that with ChatGPT, breaking down your problem makes it easy. Do not feed everything at once. Break it down into small chunks and start feeding them into ChatGPT. After you have your results saved, then you can join them later. For example, for research, ask ChatGPT to help with analysis of results, writing an abstract, then ask it to come up with a discussion and recommendation. Break down your problem into smaller manageable chunks, and then combine them after. Now, having understood that, let us dive into the challenge ahead of us. A reminder, kindly follow me on YouTube for more content, and hit the bell icon to receive notifications from me. Now, let us use one research article to show you how we can use this tool. I will begin by summarizing my abstract to words less than 250 maximum. Let us first see how many words we have here by copying our abstract and pasting it into a word counter. As you can see, we have 340 words in total. We are going to ask ChatGPT to reduce them by summarizing this abstract. Let us now go to ChatGPT. Type the command. Reduce the following to less than 250 words and press Shift and Enter. You can always press Shift and Enter if you want ChatGPT text input to move to a new line. Now paste the abstract and press Enter. As you can see, our abstract is being summarized. Let us check the total word count we have gotten. Copy the result into a word counter. As you can see, we have 129 words in total which is way less than 250. Also, you can see that we have lost the different subtitles we had in our abstract. The solution to this is asking ChatGPT to summarize the individual subtitles of the abstract. Now let us copy the abstract again, and ask ChatGPT to generate a little longer result such that we have more words. Now we are having ChatGPT generating the summary for us. Let us copy it again into the word counter. Now the word count is 141 in total. Let us go back and give it a continue command. This makes ChatGPT continue from where it has stopped. Now is continuing with the summary and adding more content. You can keep telling it to continue until you have the desired word count. Let us see the results now. So in total, we now have 242 words. This is very good, and less than 250 words, which is acceptable. So this new summary, you can copy it, and save it in a Word document. You can read through it and correct any small mistakes. We shall then use it later as we are combining everything to come up with one document. Now let us feed the results into ChatGPT and ask it to discuss them for us. Type into ChatGPT, discuss the following results then press Shift Enter to paste the results on a new line. I will not copy everything, just for demonstration. It is important if these results are not in tabular form since ChatGPT does not take in tables. Also, I advise you write your results into an organized paragraph for better results. The better you organize your results into paragraphs, the higher the quality of the results. Now ChatGPT is analyzing the results for us. Giving a discussion. If you want a detailed discussion, keep giving it a continue command whenever it stops. As you can see it has continued giving us results. We shall then copy and paste this in a separate Word document. Also read through to correct any mistakes. Let us now ask ChatGPT to suggest for us some eye-catching research topics in relation to our data. As you can see, we have a couple of them. You can choose one, you can even modify them. We can ask it to create for us objectives and methodology. I recommend asking it to create objectives alone and methodology alone. Then you combine these late. Breaking down the problem into smaller parts generates better results. Let us get some recommendations now. Ask ChatGPT for the above discussion to give us some recommendations and conclusions. Now we are getting the recommendations with a conclusion. If not contented, just ask it to continue and then you will have the desired results. Copy these into a document that you will combine with the rest. Let us ask it to suggest the most viable sample size for our project. So our 328 is a good one according to ChatGPT. Let us ask it about organizing our data to come up with a dissertation. This is basically for junior researchers who know less about organizing a dissertation. Now we have an outline of how a dissertation should be organized. This is the same pattern we shall follow when organizing our documents into one Word document. We can even ask ChatGPT to give us an introduction in relation to our topic. ChatGPT is our research assistant when it comes to writing and as you can see, it does the job well. 
We can even generate a methodology separately. Let us do that. It is being generated. Go to a website, www.semanticscholar.org. The link is in the description. We are going to use this and objectives to generate some citations for our paper. We shall generate a few but if you want, you can come up with as many articles as possible. Then analyze your document to feed them into it. Copy the objectives, one by one into the search bar of the website then hit enter. As you can see, many suggested articles for us. Read through them and see which ones are best for your study. Keep suggesting and searching with different objectives that chat GPT generated for you. As you can see, we have most of the information that we need. In one of my videos, I explained how to use chat GPT to generate a research proposal. You see I use that proposal to generate your literature review but chat GPT can do that as well. I have shown you the best way to get citations. But we'll come up with more soon. Please follow me to find out. So now having gotten all that we need, now we are left with one task. And that is compilation of all our articles into one. Then read through to correct error and flow. This may not be the perfect one but if you give chat GPT a consideration, it can save you hours. Some take homes. Make sure that you break down your problem into small chunks and feed them into chat GPT. 2. Make sure you present your results as a paragraph is instead of a table, and organize them well before feeding them into the bot. 3. Join the results and fine-tune them by deletion and omission such that they match your desired outcome. Thanks for watching, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. You can also suggest topics you want me to make a video. Thanks once more and goodbye. Let us meet in the next video.